as I was coming down my street, what did I see? A microwave. Now I've always wanted a microwave transformer, so I grabbed it, took it home, and then I saw this little inverter. So I've been watching YouTube on that, and apparently that does away with the transformer. So I'm going to open it up and see what's in there anyway. It's free, may as well. What the heck? Oh look at that. Like wooden. Someone's put some sticks in there. Bit dodgy. So we've got transformer on there, probably all I'll be able to use. Little motor, a coil, not sure what these grey things are, probably capacitors waiting to give me a big shock. A little fan, the magnetron. Don't think I can do much with this besides get those big magnets out of there. Light bulb, some switches. I think this thing's a thermometer, thermistor or something. Here's the inverter part. So instead of a transformer, I guess it's kind of a transformer still. They've got these windings and then a rectifier in here. So it's kind of a bummer, there's not a traditional transformer in there, but still got some good parts out of it. So I've put it all back together just to get rid of it, because you have to pay to take stuff to the dump here, but white goods are free. So, I don't know if this is technically naughty, but I'm going to just make it look like a microwave again and drop it off, even though there's nothing in it. So I've released the two magnets from the magnetron here. It is apparently quite dangerous, so if you're going to do that, look up another YouTube video on the dangers of it. This material here that I've covered in duct tape, and here, if you scrape any off it can create a really hazardous dust. And the other hazard about this is make sure the capacitors here are discharged 
I usually just bridge the back with a screwdriver and it'll it'll spark and release the current if it's charge if there's any in there. So magnets there. They're fairly powerful. They're not like the rare earth magnets. I can put them together by hand. But um yeah, not too bad. So here's the AC geared turntable motor from the microwave which is really weird because it didn't even have a turntable but the motor was still in there anyway so if you turn that even slowly 30 volts must be geared really well in there so I'll see what I can power with it I've got this LED light bulb that I've kind of had a look inside I'll stick one of these on give me the voltage attachments Turns out I must have broke one of the connections while dismantling it, so I've put hooked one to there and one to there. And when you give this a spin, you can get it to light up. Not very bright, but for what's supposed to be 240 volts, it's pretty good. Now, I'll attach this onto my drill. Yeah. Yeah, it's not insanely bright but it's pretty cool that we can get that from this little turntable motor so I've got it connected here to the drill really low speed 100 volts AC speed it up 230 so that must be about the speed that it spins in the microwave seems pretty fast though 400 volts oh, that's a bit but that's a lot so I've used the microwaves little transformer and huge bridge rectifier to try and light this 12 volt LED And we can get a nice 12 volt DC out of it. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad I got one transformer out of the microwave. Yeah.